Hey everybody, it's Brigzilla here. Hello. Um, update on last week. Now last week, or earlier this week, I can't actually remember when it was, I said about the Final Fantasy VIII um, Twitch TV stream that I'll be doing at some point. I am trying to find the, the, the block of two or three hours that I want to play. At the moment I can't find that block. I'm hoping to start maybe next Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday not Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, we'll see how it goes. Um, I have got everything ready to go, it's just literally finding that couple of hours that I can sit and play. Um, something else as well, Next, not this weekend coming, not a couple of days from now, but the weekend after, I am going to be away. I am going to be away in a, um, a location that I can't talk about just yet because the person that we are going with, or I am going with, doesn't actually know where are we going? So, if he is watching this, you're not going to get any information about that. So, just stop watching. <laughs> no. Um, there will be a little bit of a surprise, hopefully, about what we're going to be doing next weekend. I may be able to get some pictures, maybe even some video footage. We'll see. Um, as for um, the secret, I can't take tell anything about it because I really don't know if my friend will actually watch this video or not. I will s share one little secret with you folks and I'm happy to share it with my friend whose weekend it's all about, it's just his stag weekend. I am going to be creating a little, not cocktail as such, but a little um, experiment that I'm going to be hopefully perfecting this in the next day or so. What I will do is I'm gonna be, I'll probably do a little video of what I'm actually gonna be doing fully um, in the next day or so, but for now I'm just going to run through what I'm actually going to be doing. Now, I'm not a massive drinker, so I'm doing this for myself as well as the people around me because it shows, if you do stuff like this, it shows that you kind of put effort into doing stuff, so this is my kind of, kind of like, hey, I am actually making some kind of effort sort of deal. So this is it. Bottle of vodka. I haven't got a vodka at hand because it's not here yet. Uh, I haven't actually bought it. Well, I've technically bought it. It's not been delivered because I bought it online because it's cheaper, obviously. Bag of what I call Skittles. Now, these Skittles have come in this bag because of the amount of Skittles there is. This is a pound of Skittles. If you haven't worked out what I'm doing by now, then I will explain. If you separate the Skittles into their separate colours. So we've got what colours? Orange, yellow, green, purple and red. If you separate them up and you put them in with vodka and you f you shake them and you do it over you leave it over light overnight, you get the sweetness and the taste of each skittle infused in the vodka and it's called skittle vodka obviously that's it would be silly to call it anything else R some people call it rainbow vodka maybe I, I'm calling it skittle vodka because it says exactly what it says on the tin each uh, flavor of vodka will be filtered into flasks of my purchasing these flasks like three quid I have got five of these because of the five different colors um, and you're supposed to freeze them afterwards you're supposed to put, when you when you're done and you, you cork them and undo all that sort of stuff you're supposed to freeze you're supposed to put them in the freezer and then serve the problem is, is I don't have any freezing um, freezing tools when I am on the road because that's it's gonna be a, a little bit of a road trip so what I will plan to do is I'll serve it as is and if it sucks it sucks if it's good it's good we'll see this is an experiment in the next week or so so we'll find out the total cost for all this sort of stuff is about 60 quid that's including the vodka and that's including posting and packaging for all the other stuff because I've had to buy five flask bottles I have bought the pound of skills I bought coffee filter papers which is the, the papers that will filter the the un, di, un unfiltered vodka skittle stuff and get all the shit out of it and then it'll go into the bottles and also uh, I bought a little funnel because obviously that would be a lot easier 
and the vodka itself. The vodka itself was the most expensive part, play about 20 quid or something stupid. Because they say you're not supposed to use really good vodka, but you're not supposed to use really bad vodka. I've gone in the middle somewhere, which was about 20 quid for a litre, and we'll see how it goes. When I have, I might do a little tutorial about the way I've produced it, maybe a little take pictures here and there, or do a video or something about my process of going through and actually making this little vodka. Um, or I might just tell you, I'll come back on camera when I'm absolutely pissed out my brain and tell you how good the stuff is, we'll see. Um, as for games and stuff, uh, I'm playing several games at the moment. I am playing a little bit of Castle Storm, it's not an amazing game and it's not going to last very long, but I'm playing it. As I said, I've already started playing, for, well I will be starting to play Final Fantasy VIII. I've re-downloaded Fallout New Vegas, I might just check out that for a few hours. I'm playing a little bit of Torchlight 2, uh, on and off that game, it's very similar to Diablo 2 in, this, in, the, in the way it's built, because obviously it's built from people who actually made Diablo 2, so that would be why it actually looks and feels a bit like Diablo 2. I've re-downloaded downloaded Oblivion, because Oblivion is one of the best games ever created as far as I'm concerned, apart from Morrowind, which is obviously far superior, but it's not got it's not aged as well as Oblivion has. And I'm also playing another game called Forged Alliance. Now this is a Supreme Commander game. This is the add-on. This is like the the, the this not the sequel, but the add-on to Supreme Commander 1. Not Supreme Commander 2, which was a far inferior sequel <sighs> so all of that stuff forged alliance oblivion torchlight 2 open tdd i'm playing a little bit of that i'm always playing a little bit of that still playing world of tanks but on and off like you know an hour a day not even that um and hopefully some more some of these video some of these games will actually get videos i might get a little oblivion video going i might get a forged alliance video going just to show you what the game's all about and um, how great it is still after so after it came out in 2007 so it's like it's nearly it's probably about six years old and it is still a great game anyway i've blabbered on enough about random shit please if you can come and check this out when i do the stream of final fantasy 8 because it's not just going to be me and the game there's going to be music, and the music is going to f make me feel really nostal nostalgic. That's the reason why I'm doing it, because I want that nostalgicasm, as it were. That is why I've called it Nostalgicasm Final Fantasy VIII Playthrough. That's the name of the, the series to do. So please, come and check that out when it gets going. The best way for you to find out when that happens is by pressing the Twitch TV link down in the bottom, pressing the follow button or like button or whatever the fuck the button is or follow me on Twitter because as soon as I go live the Twitter feed will go boop and I will be telling people that I'm live <sighs> right that's it thanks for watching love you bye